I'm Victoria Calvin. In our last episode, we talked about embellishment basics, and this episode, we're gonna talk about title basics. Now, for beginning scrapbookers, I always recommend keeping things simple and using materials that make it easy for you to create your titles. Now, I love using letter stickers. It's one of the favorite things that I have in my scrappy arsenal. In fact, I probably have more letter stickers than one person should absolutely have but they're really fun to use because the designs are fantastic, there's a lot of variety, and you can create whatever title that you want. I also enjoy using foam stickers or puffy stickers that are already designed with text that I could potentially use for a title. This is a great way to keep the process simple and particularly when you feel like you're not that great at coming up with titles. If there's something that works, I say pop it on your layout and keep it going. I love this design by Simple Stories because this text is nice and big, so I can create a big, bold title on my layout, but I can also pair it with my letter stickers to kind of make it more of an original composition. Now, for titles, I like to go with titles that are somewhat obvious to the story that I'm telling. Sometimes it may be a quote or some words that maybe the subject in my photo has said that was funny or meaningful. And other times I just want something really basic and simple that's gonna go with the theme and the story of my layout without having to think about it too hard. As a beginning scrapbooker, as I said, I always recommend go simple and then work your way up from there. So for this layout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do create a layout. We're gonna use two different sticker options here. Now you could just use one and be okay. So for instance, the big one here says the good stuff. I'm gonna pop that right here by my photo and then I could be done with that completely and move on to my next scrapbook project. But if I wanna add a little bit more interest to my titles, what I like to do is use more than one design. So again, I have letter stickers and then I have this foam text. Now, if I didn't have the foam text, that's fine. I can bring in other letter stickers that coordinate with the collection or the kit that I'm using. I'm gonna use these black stickers from Thickers. They're called, well, they're actually navy. They look black, but they're actually navy blue. And then I'm gonna pair that with this foam sticker here. So as I'm putting my title down, there's one thing I do wanna be mindful of is where I'm gonna put my journaling and my journaling is gonna go right here. So at least I have a starting point. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna bust out this foam sticker. I love this because it just makes it super simple. Now I've been scrapbooking for over 17 years and I still try to go for the simple and easy when it comes to scrapbook layouts, particularly if I have a lot that I'm trying to document. So I'm just gonna add this sticker right over here. Now this already has adhesive on it, so all I have to do is just press it down and I'm good to go. And I could stop right here, right? And add some other embellishments and things, but we're actually gonna continue on adding a little bit more interest to the title. Now, I like this method because it kind of forces you to use the stuff that you have in your stash versus, you know, hoarding it, which a lot of us scrapbookers do. But it also creates a very interesting title and adds a lot of interest to your, to your page. So I'm gonna bring in a secondary font. So you can think of it as primary, secondary, right? So this was our primary to our title. So now we'll just go in with our secondary. So now I'm gonna spell out earrings and I'm going to attempt the feat of writing this backwards <laughs> so that I can make sure that I have enough room for all of these little letters that are gonna go on here. So it's gonna read the good stuff, book earrings, and I'm just gonna go and start adding in my letters. Now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna kinda use this pattern paper here at the bottom as a guide of where I want my letters to go. And these are foam letters and they already have adhesive on them, which is great. And I just grab my letters and start spelling the rest of my title. So it's kind of a subtitle, if you will. So I finished putting down the letters to create my secondary title. So the title reads all together, The Good Stuff Book Earrings. Now, is this the most inventive title? No, but it reads specifically to the story that I'm telling which is about my daughter and her new book, Earrings. So a couple of things to keep in mind as a beginning scrapbooker when you're creating titles is one, use fun elements for your titles. Letter stickers are a great option. As you get going with scrapbooking, you can do other things like make your own letter stickers from a variety of different tools and materials, but using just pre-made letter stickers that already have adhesive on the back or even if they're die cuts is a perfect option. And you can also use things like these foam stickers that already have text on them. Another example of that is these chipboard stickers. Again, here's that good stuff title, but in a chipboard form. 
And you can mix and match these to create really interesting title looks on your scrapbook page. So you don't have to use just one font sticker or one design or one color. You can mix it up a little bit based on the composition of your layout. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will talk about texture and dimension.